Hi, my name is Martha Parker and I'm co-founder of Team One Newport. Today we're going to do a wrist seal replacement on a dry suit. First thing you want to do is figure out, look at the seal and see where you're going to cut it off. I'm going to cut it off so that I keep some latex onto where the, where the seal meets the suit. And for this dry suit, it is, I have to turn the seal inside out. Normally what I do is I squeeze it so that I can get a first cut. You want to be sure that you're using sharp scissors and you continue to cut off the seal where it meets the material of the dry suit. So the way I'm doing this is I'm sticking my fingers inside and I'm pulling out the old seal so that I've got some tension between the suit and the old seal. Make sure you use sharp scissors. Now I've got the old seal. Now what we need to do is I'm going to be putting this seal on where the old seal is on. So I'm going to pull this back out. Now this dry suit has a cuff over where the wrist seal is. So I'm going to pull that cuff away and pull it back so that I have full exposure of the old seal. I've made a form. The form that I use is a glass jar. I try to get it as close to the opening. And then what I do is if it's not big enough, I will take towels and wrap it around. And then I always put it in a plastic bag and then use tape. That way, if any glue ever leaks out onto your form, it, you're not going to ruin any towels. So I'm going to squeeze this form in here. Sometimes you're going to push it from the inside, sometimes from the outside. I decided today to go from the outside because we have this cuff here, which can make it a little bit of a bear to work with. I'm going to get it fairly close to the edge. Now I'm going to take the new dry suit seal and we're going to put that onto here. Because this is the outside of the suit, I do not have to turn my dry suit seal inside out. And it's a wrist seal, so you don't have a front or a back, as you do with a booty seal. Sometimes it can get a little tricky. So I want to put the whole seal over. This is my test to make sure that I've got everything set up correctly. I've left a little bit of my form here. So now we're going to fold it back. And we're going to take sandpaper. I use 80 grit. You can use whatever you've got. What we're doing is we're just scoring both latex edges that are going to take the glue just so they adhere a little bit better. I've mixed some glue, I've mixed some Kotal and some AquaSeal glue. I'm going to take a thin layer right on the original seal. I like to use popsicle sticks. Some people use brushes. It's a personal preference. What's nice with this is my jar is long enough that I can hold this up and I can get all the way around it. When I mix my glue, I mix it on something that you can certainly throw out. So an old plastic topped maybe sour cream or a yogurt. Don't use any of your parents' nice dishes, or your nice dishes. So I have the glue completely on it. Now I'm going to pull this seal up and over. Sometimes it's nice, you can just sort of take your finger and hold it, and then go all the way around. Make sure that you're completely covering the old seal, here I have a little spot that I've got to kind of lift and pull over. You want to make sure, sometimes you can even sort of take your fingers and pull that seal up and then take your fingers and press down. 
make sure that it's a nice, smooth, and you don't have any air bubbles or holes. This seal here has a little bit of an air bubble, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep pressing it down. Because I've used Kotal 250, 240, sorry, with Aquaseal here, this will cure a lot faster than if you just use Aquaseal. Aquaseal, the normal cure time is 24 hours. With the Kotal, it should cut it down to about two hours. I still keep it in the form for 24 hours. Now that we've kept the mold in for 24 hours, it's ready for us to take it out. This is going to be a little bit trickier because we have our form is in this sleeve. So I might need a little bit of help here. But the reason what's happening is we have a cuff. And so I'm going to ask Vic to come help me get this cuff over here. Okay. What we're going to do is we've got to pull this over that whole form. Okay, so we actually discovered that we are not going to get it through with this cuff being here. So we're going to go another way. We're going to stretch the latex, put fingers in it softly, and we're actually going to pull the form out this way. And there we go. And there is your new dry suit seal. And this suit needs a new neck seal. So that'll be in another video. Thanks so much for watching.